I would like to invite the distinguished permanent representative of the Syrian Arab Republic, His Excellency Bashar Jafari, Rapporteur of the Special Committee on the Situation with Regard to the Implementation of the Declaration on the Granting of Independence to Colonial Countries and Peoples to introduce the report of the Special Committee as contained in Document A-74-23. You have the floor, sir. I would like to thank you, Mr. Chair. I will congratulate you again when I speak in my national capacity. For now, I will be speaking in English to present the report on the activities of our committee. I would also like to congratulate you on behalf of the committee. Person. At the outset, Allow me to congratulate you on behalf of the Special Committee on the situation with regard to the implementation of the Declaration on the Granting of Independence to Colonial Countries and Peoples on your election as Chair of the Fourth Committee of the 74th Session of the General Assembly. I also extend my congratulations to the other members of the Bureau and wish you all a successful session. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished colleagues and delegates. As Rapporteur of the Special Committee on Decolonization, I have the honor and privilege to introduce the report of the Committee on its work during its 2019th session, contained in document A-74-23. The report comprises 13 chapters and two annexes this year's report follows the structure of the, re of the recent annual reports of the C24. Hence, I shall be brief. Chapter 1 provides a general account of the work of the C24 in its 2019 session and includes future program of work and activities envisaged for 2020. Chapters 2 to Chapter 7 focus on the following themes. Third international decade for the eradication of colonialism, dissemination of information on decolonization, question of sending visiting and special missions to territories, information from the non-self-governing territories transmitted under Article 73E of the United Nations Charter, economic and other activities which affect the interests of the peoples of the non-self-governing territories. And lastly, implementation of the Declaration on the Granting of Independence to Colonial Countries and Peoples by the specialized agencies and international institutions associated with the United Nations. Chapters 8 through Chapter 12 covers the C24 consideration of the questions of the 17 non-self-governing territories, namely <coughs> American Samoa, Anguilla, Bermuda, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Falkland Islands, the Malvinas, French Polynesia, Gibraltar, Guam, Montserrat, New Caledonia, Pitcairn, St. Helena, Tokelau, the Turks and Caicos Islands, the United States Virgin Islands and Western Sahara. The recommendations of the committee in the form of draft resolutions are presented in chapter 13, which contains 19 draft resolutions for the fourth committee's consideration and action. The list of documents of the special committee in 2019 can be found in Annex 1. The report of the 2019 Caribbean Regional Seminar held in Grenada from 2 to 4th of May can be found in Annex 2. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished colleagues and delegates, allow me to underline that during its substantive session in 2019, the C24 
continued to fulfill its mandate and considered developments in the 17 non-self-governing territories and Puerto Rico in accordance with the United Nations Charter and relevant resolutions. The committee held its Caribbean Regional Seminar in Grand Anse, Grenada, Grenada, in May, under the theme, Implementation of the Third International Decade for the Eradication of Colonialism, Accelerating Decolonization Through Renewed Commitment and Pragmatic Measures. It is worth underlining that this year's seminar saw a high number of participants, both from the territories and C24 members. In June session, following careful consideration of the agenda before the C24, all resolutions and decisions were adopted by consensus, in keeping with its long-standing working practices. It is thus a great honor for me to hereby present to the fourth committee the recommendations contained in the committee's 2019 report. I very much hope that you will consider those recommendations favorably. <coughs> Mr. Chairperson, distinguished colleagues, in concluding, I would like to thank members of the fourth committee for their and faltering commitment to the decolonization agenda and their support to the special committee's efforts in fulfillment of its mandate. I thank you, Mr. Chairperson. I thank the Rapporteur, His Excellency the Ambassador, for his statement.